it is. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm getting speechless because I'm in a location that is for a lot of people almost religious, you know, right? What is up? My name is Marta. Welcome to Nausa. Welcome to a beautiful area. I have not ever been here yet. In the back there is Ilona with Jason. They're getting ready because we are at the school of Aristoteles. Aristotelus. In, in Greek it's Aristotelus, but in English it's like Aristotle, Aristotle, something like this. Jason is with us as well, like I said. And I just decided oh, I'm to. Getting dressed. <laughs> yeah. I just decided to drive somewhere and then we saw the signs of the school of Aristotle and uh, we decided to go here. It's a little bit green it is amazing beautiful here really like there's a very nice little stream back there it's, it smells amazing it's a little bit too bad though that they ruined signs here as well but it looks amazing it is a super warm day today really a super warm day and you look amazing dude <laughs> you look amazing show off your little shoes also yes so cool i need to help you It feels amazing to walk here by the way. It is such a nice weather, such a nice temperature, such a nice atmosphere. Nice. Oh, very nice platen tree, yeah, what Ilona says. Greece has some of the oldest, and one of them in Tsagarada, some of the oldest uh, platen trees. And this one is also huge. They have amazing shapes and they have huge thick trunks sometimes. I have to be careful a little bit with snakes because it's like the, the period with this warm weather that they start moving around a lot. This thing is big. Wait, let me show you how big. That's what she said. Look at this trunk. Look at this old boy or girl. Does a tree have a sex? I'm the king of the world. And I'm out of frame probably. And how do I get down again? <laughs> Stupid. As you can see, pretty big, beautiful leaves. It's nice and cool underneath this, underneath this tree as well. But let's go to what we came for. Ilona says it's nothing special, but I think because it's Aristotelus, that it's kind of special to go to the school of Aristotelus. Let's see if it's locked though or not. Eh, no, doesn't seem so. Ilona says there's a snake. Oh, we're zoomed. Where's the snake? Being there and it went inside the leaves. Uh. Yeah, just Not if you... The floor, on top of the floor. Oh, if you stomp usually, then they'll go away. Yeah, but now she has uh, Ohia and it's one of the most poisonous snakes around the area. Well, then we gotta be careful. Yeah. What were you telling me, Ilona, about this rock? Now she is completely built on Porolitho. Porolitho. Poropetra. It's a rock with holes oh. inside. So it's very porous, we say in Dutch. But it's very soft rock also. Yeah, you can do like this and it becomes dust. Like chalk. Kind of chalkstone kind of idea. In the Netherlands, in the southern of the Netherlands, we have caves also that are very easily to carve. And they have uh, a lot of churches that are falling apart right now because they used those stones and that material to actually make that... Uh... Here it is. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm getting speechless because I'm in a location that is for a lot of people almost religious. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, there's more people here. <laughs> yes. But well, there's a very cool cave here. Look at that. That's what we came for. Oh. Too bad there's a lock on it. I want to go in. At the archaeological site of Nymphion, is Vona in the broader area of ancient Mieta in a gorgeous natural landscape with running waters, deeply shaded caves and thick vegetation. 
lies the school of Aristotle, where the philosopher tutored the future king of Macedonia, Alexander the Great. Together with other science of the prominent Macedonian families, philosophy, poetry, mathematics and science, Alexander remained in the school up until 340 before Christ, when he returned to Pella to act as a regent during the absence of his father, King Philip II of Macedonia. Despite the short period of the school's operation, just three years, the coexistence of Aristotle and Alexander marks the place as a historical site with global flamboyance. So as you can see on this little map, it was not just this little cave that there only was, it was this entire Nymphel, Nymphel, Katopsito Nymphel, Rafi. And there's this entire like area with the caves as well, where it was, and you can still see it a little bit. If you look at this, you can still see it up in the walls there. But there have been probably wooden beams and stuff like that, right? I For an entire building that was, that was here. We've been told the history of the place and everything, but I don't remember it. You don't remember it personally? No, not really. We will read into it a little bit first, but uh, it is so warm up here. Down. Oh, I heard another snake or holy or something. And you can see also the way that it's been carved, see? It's so nice and straight. That can only be done by human hands pretty much. I see salamanders running around everything. It's so cool to walk around here. Because this is older than the ruins of the Parthenon pretty much you know you can see these rocks there have been people walking here so many years ago it feels very strange to stand here right now it feels nice though it is a very nice place this huh it is nice. you can see this entire area it's been completely ah, carved out really There's some easing, there's some amazing sounds around here, by the way, of some beautiful birds. Elon was right, by the way, about these rocks. You can just almost peel off them. You can see all these in there. I get the feeling that these are like very, very old stone, like... So because they say that there used to be sea here still, this looks almost like coral that is in here and, and roots of trees almost like that. But they, they're all like stone right now. And it's not just a drippage of water. It really looks like there's these these are have been growing, and it it is very soft. Well, not that soft that I would slam my head into it, of course, but it is soft. This is kind of a magical place. Pretty. This is what I mean. This does not just look like any drippage or something like stal stalagmites or stalactites. These look like coral, like roots almost. You see that? I think that they should have excursions when kids are like in primary school or something because you see it in completely different eye when you're older. Mm -hmm. it makes more sense to you. Ilona just said that this area here in the back there, if you, if you can see there's like the, a seat and like a table kind of thing or a column or something out of stone. And this area is so open, it's almost like a, we call them Dutch an amphitheater. So it's almost like you, it's built up also in a way. And if you talk here, you can hear yourself very well. So I, Ilona also said like this must be like the location where he was talking, lessons, the lessons here, or the, the first Lyceum actually it was here. That's what I understood, that Aristotle opened the first Lyceum and then in Athens, but started here. And I now don't so. want to say something that they're not sure Yeah, about. we should not talk about history if we don't know exactly the story. But uh, you probably heard already something in the voiceover. <laughs> See, I like to go to a place first and then get educated on it. And that's what I want to do with you guys as well. Go like beautiful places like this, like the school of Aristotle. And just walk around a little bit because it is history and not just that it's a very important history for Greece it's why also democracy was built on places like yeah. these for example they they started talking about those things and except for being beautiful nature though huh? We didn't say bye. why why should you say bye to some strangers that are just I know the one he's an artist oh okay. I didn't know well you can go back we didn't say bye well you can go back no <laughs> okay by the way, we saw the first snakes and we heard a couple of more rattle thingies, but most of them are probably salamanders, but 
since Ilona understood that there were snakes around here, she's like, mm, gonna be careful with Jason, of course, around. So that's why I'm walking up front and we didn't go all the way to the back of the other cave because like I also said in yesterday's vlog already in Aginicolas is that this is the period that most snakes wake up because it's getting nice and warm outside and they go out hunting. And, and it's very, very and it's very moist around this in, the, in this area. There's a high humidity, so they love it shadow, around here. Sun, There's, everything. yeah, shadow, sun, everything. Now what I'm wondering here is if this is already old as well. Because when I just jumped on here, this is very, I'm not gonna stand there again, but it's almost fall, about to fall apart. It's all like rotten. There's something somewhere? No. The Lord scares the shit out of me. Salamander maybe running over the white road. Okay, we're going back to the car because Ilona is scared to death and so is, am I if she is scared. I want to say this concrete that is there, or it looks like concrete, but it also looks like the kind of road stone that is carved out here. This must have been already for years as well here. There's like a little lake there and they can regulate the water height here. It's super green. But like I said, I cannot stand there anymore because I'm afraid I fall through. Whoa. Made out of wood. Not that steady anymore. Safety over my for my family first, so we're gonna walk back to the car right now and I'm gonna walk up front and I'm gonna stomp all over the place. Snakes be gone. Snakes be gone. I'm gonna stomp on your head if you touch me. That does not rhyme at all. No. <laughs> One thing that Ilona was saying a second ago as well is that most of the Greek kids already have been here but they go here in primary school and Ilona also says like when you go in primary school time it's nice of course to have like your day out but most kids are like eh. so it's way better to come back later right now for example when like we are right now and then it's actually interesting I like to walk around here and I feel something I'm not spiritual in any way or something but it's a magical place somehow it is a magical yeah, place it has yeah. a strong aura I don't believe in oh, RS at all. No, but the air around it and everything, it feels I know, nice. it's just the, 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 the idea of having so many thousands of years before this yeah. boy here, for example, having the first Lyceum there. Yeah. Just a nice, nice feeling. thinking to pick some flowers flowers back there for Ilona's grandma and mother but the amount of bees that is there is not normal and probably someone has like a little beehive here so I don't want to disturb the bees the bees are super important for us so uh, keep the bees alive <laughs> and Jason is sleeping so shh. in other words you're scared no in other words you just woke him up I, he was awake Spaghetti! Pasta, spaghetti, linguine. Pasta. We had pasta. That's the only thing I want to say, but. Spaghetti? We were back on. Yeah, spaghetti. 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 Don't touch my spaghetti. We just had food. It was very warm. I think Jason got overheated when we got back here. And. Uh, oh, light. Because his cheeks were so red, like really red, and he was sweating and he was not breathing nicely in all honesty, so we gave him some water and we came in. It was a little bit of a shock for the first time, it was so hot, because right now outside it's 26 degrees. This is it. Shit. This oh, is
Holy oil. Very nice. The strawberries right now at this moment, they're very nice. Look how red they are. This, this color is like so picture perfect. Wait, I have to take a photo. Half of the store is dark. I don't understand why. Look, literally. Do they do that because it's so calm here? So strange. Did I get locked in or something? Nah. I need to pick up something for Jason and for Ilona for a second because it gets so hot in the car so we need something for the window so it doesn't get that warm and for Ilona something for like her female thingy. But yeah, it's very strange it's just to walk in here to the jumbo of Nausa and then be like in total, well not total darkness but most lights are turned off. Or maybe they do that because it's all of a sudden so warm around here but... Whew. Cannot find what I need. Oh, I already see it. Oh, not the cheapest, but it's necessary. Most guys will not understand what this is. Most women do. <laughs> Let's just do it. And these things. 36 by 44. Nah, we must find for the big, for the window in the back. No way, because you need to be able to see in the back window. I only want to lock off one window. It's way too dangerous if you lock off all your windows. And let's not do this or... A little too girlish. In our other car, the Jimny, you know, we have a, a thing at the back of the window, at the back window to make commercial for the company. But in this car, we don't. This car is just one big greenhouse, pretty much, if you put it full in the sun. <sighs> it's nice and cool in here, though, by the way. But all the jumbos, the music is so loud. The advertisements are so loud. I got what I needed, at least. Let's go back. Well, that was funny in a way. I uh, go there to pay and I walk towards the register and the lady says like, uh, would you mind to leave the store because we're closed. I didn't know that they were closed, that they were closed at six o'clock. It was already almost 10 past six, so that's why. And then I am at the register and then the girl says like, ah, did she give birth? And I'm like, yeah, well, she saw the filastro, this thing. So she might have thought like, hey, they're pregnant and they got a baby. I didn't know she knew me. I did not know. Seemingly she's friends with George and George is friends with Ilona and this like it's small now so of course but funny that this person knows me as well so hi if you ever might watch this back it <laughs> Whew, it's too hot right now in the car again like I said already we're gonna go back to Nausa. <laughs> well, we are in Nausa but go back home. Ooh, you're tired, huh, dude. That's why we took the bumpy road. The worse the road is, the sooner he sleeps. It's funny because if you have a little, if you have like the highway, for example, he doesn't sleep. But if you have these, these like village roads that lead up to other villages in the mountains, especially that go like this and they're not well taken care of, well, those are the roads for Jason <laughs> to fall asleep. I mean, that's why I took the bumpy road. But the sun is a little bit in his face now. Let's put this down a little bit, huh? Yes. Let's keep walking in front of you a little bit so we have the shadow of Papa hanging over you. And then we're gonna make sure that he doesn't have any problem with the sun in the car as well. What the hell is going on with Greek weather? Why? Look at the raindrops on the window. And it's coming down hard actually. I wanted to uh, hang up these things on the window right now. But it's raining. And I'm not getting out of the car anytime soon right now. Well, I will ha I'll get out to get back into the house. Actually, I, th I think I can do it from the inside of the car. Ooh, almost hit my face. See, these things, they protect a little bit of the sunshine from blocking uh, Jason's face. Sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but I don't know what I have to say. You know what, I'm gonna put two of them because we don't need any sunshine to come through. Uh, numero dio. Uh. See? Now I can still watch outside and does not have full sunshine in his bakkes. And I don't know why I said bakkes, but that's face in Dutch. That's actually a weird, like, weird name for like mouth, face, area. I'm gonna go back inside, but before that, I'm gonna close this vlog. I'm tired. I have been editing like the vlog with Sergio and Rene, uh, and Venetia. Sergio and Rene. The thing is that we know, of course, Sergio and Rene from the Netherlands now. Hi, if you're watching, by the way, Sergio and Rene. But we also have Sergio and Venetia, 
and Sergio is from, from Rene is from Italy so that's like Sergio but Sergio from Venetia is like in the Russian way so it's actually Sergei but still you say both to them both you say Sergio and it messes with my brains a little bit I just say Sergio for Sergio Rene Sergio Venetia so let's just say pizza la mama and let's say Sergio Rene because pizza la mama is also a little bit of commercial than every time because you're like what pizza la mama yeah Sergio from pizza la mama anyway long story short what I want to say is that that vlog was almost half an hour long but it took me so long to edit because there's a lot of like cinematic footage in there and uh, that's cool and all but if it's it's a lot of work let's put it like that and uh, that made me very tired because i went to bed at four to four at four o'clock at night and then jason woke up woke me up at five again and then at nine again and then he learned let me sleep until 11 so it was a little bit broken night it's okay if you like this vlog though don't forget to hit the thumbs up button leave a comment down below because love tweet and we always reply it's good friday so easter is coming up maybe tonight we're going to check out epifania but i don't think so because last year we also went and there's another a lot of nice weather right now so anyway thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye